What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Asigiti Sauce. Today's an exciting day for me. This is a project that has been in the works for years. I've been trying to make this complete vending machine for a long time. It's tough to find parts for it if you could find them. And if you do find them, the shipping's rough. So I've, I've been working on this project for a long time. It's a 1988 Vendol VersaVend Monstor Candy vending machine. So I've been getting it piece by piece for years. I'm very patient. I'm a very patient collector. I always have been. And now today's finally the day that I could put this thing together. I'm not going to actually put candy in it because the chances of me using it a lot are very slim to none. There's going to be more as a decorative piece. Um, I'm going to show you the pieces that I've accumulated over the years. And then you could see uh, me put it all together. So I'll show you the first piece I ever got, which is the most important piece to this puzzle, which is the Monstor frame that goes around uh, that goes around the, the candy dispensers. Highly desirable piece. A lot of people repurpose this, but uh, I'm going to show you right now. Check this out. Your life is in shambles. Here it is. Uh, most of you that know what this is already know what you're looking at. Uh, for those of my followers that don't, this is a candy dispenser cover for a Vendol Versa Vend from 1988. Uh, a lot of people, when they find these, they don't have the candy dispenser parts. So what they do is they usually repurpose this. Uh, my buddy Aaron over at Retro Band, he put a uh, screen in his, so he kind of uses it as like a uh, TV bezel, which is really cool. I've seen people build shelves in it and display like little miniature toys in it and stuff. But what I always wanted to do was I wanted to make this an actual vending machine the way it was supposed to be. My buddy Scott Appleby has one. He's very lucky. He found one that was mint, uh, brand new, fully intact. Um, it's tough because even if you find them fully intact, they're screwed up. Parts are cracked, missing, um, and you can't get it shipped to you, you know? So, uh, so this is what it is. I'm going to keep this original. A lot of people repaint them. Like I have some, some uh, nicks here and there, but overall it's in outstanding shape. So I'm going to keep it as it is. You could tell this just covers the candy dispensers. It's basically just like a wrap or a, a mask, if you will, that goes over it and it adds a really, really cool effect to it. So the hardest part is I found this and this was the, the most important piece. So after I found this, I made it my goal to get the rest of the pieces, but it's been a very, very long journey. So what I'm basically what I'm basically going to show you now is uh, the second piece that I got in my long quest to complete this Monstor Vendol Versa Vend candy machine from 1988. This was the first piece, like I said. I got this in outstanding condition. Usually they're really, really cooked or screwed up, and they go for a lot of money, upwards of five hundred dollars for just this case. Uh, so the next piece I'm going to show you is the uh, the stand that I got, which was the which is actually new old stock. So uh, here, check out the stand. So two years ago, I was lucky enough during the pandemic to find this. Now this is it assembled already. This is actually uh, the stand that the four candy dispensers go on. Uh, this is actually new old stock. You can see the powder coat on it is, is, is wonderful. Um, they made a couple different styles. So typically the one that you see this one, when it's fully assembled, you see a dark brown stand, right? And the, uh, the, the, the mounting plate is actually uh, a little shorter on that brown one, uh, which I don't know why they did that. As you'll see when I uh, connect all four of them, it gives a good support for them. Otherwise, on the one that usually people use for it, it cuts it off. And you'll see the plastic uh, container or candy dispenser rather hanging off to the side. It's very strange. I don't know why they did that. So I was happy to find the new old stock one and for the other one. Usually this typical tan one you would see with um, Vendol made ones that were standalone that didn't come with these covers. Uh, if I can find a picture, I'll show you, I'll show you up above. Um, you'll see that they have a, uh, they're like, they're like glass as opposed to plastic, these ones. So I don't know, but whatever. So I got this. So I figured I'll just keep this one. Uh, this one's a lot better. They all had oval bases like that. 
to prevent it from rocking. Um, really cool. So this this took me a long time to find. I was lucky enough to find a gentleman that used to have tons of these, no longer has any brand new covers or candy dispensers, but he had this. So I had this, it was sitting in a box for a while, but recently I finally found the candy dispensers, which I'll show you now. So now I can finally put this whole piece together. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna put candy in it. What I'm going to do is uh, print out uh, sticker vending machine like uh, papers and put them on the inside just for decoration. I'm not going to use them for candy. I just want it to be fully displayed and usable as a candy dispenser, but I'm not going to actually put candy in it. So now I'll show you the um, uh, candy dispensers. And here is the last piece to the puzzle, the four candy dispensers that will go on top of this. And then that'll go on top of that, encasing it, having this wonderful, wonderful full complete candy dispenser machine. These are fully working. Uh, the only thing is, you know, I'm not gonna put candy in them because I'm not gonna use them frequently like that. So I'm gonna do printouts, like I said, of like like sticker vending machines or, you know, just some sort of artwork to wrap in here, just so it's like, a, it looks like it's filled with something uh, and then just have a nice display for my toy room. Uh, this actually, I got these for Usually what's crazy about these is you can look at the different colors. It looks kind of like a tannish brown and that's like a dark brown. The flaps here are darker brown. This one's kind of sun faded and whatever, and like a tan. But uh, these, these three have the 25 cent stickers. This one doesn't. I actually have another one that has the 25 cent sticker, but it's missing the flap. So I had to find this piece after just because I want all four flaps. <laughs> Hopefully I'll find the 25 cent sticker because I can't rip it off the other one, it's too old. And I'll place that there so they're all cohesive, but it's not really a big deal. My main concern was having the four flaps. So I finally got four full complete ones. I'm going to screw them in and mount them to the base. And then I'm going to put the monster cover and I'll finally have the candy vending machine that I've always wanted. So they all work. They're all pretty, you know, it's real cheap plastic. Like I said, it's not like the ones that this stand is meant for that had, a, that had the glass, the glass piece here and it had metal compartments there. Um, I guess that's why they uh, made it a little extra wider so that it had, uh, you know, since it was a little heavier, uh, the metal and glass pieces. So, uh, well, here are the uh, four candy dispensers. I'm going to clean them up, throw them on there, and then we'll get rocking. Okay, so how you attach them is you open up the back, and underneath there's these screws. These are actually all brand new screws. Um, the screws that came with them were dirty, so I went to the hardware store. Shout out to Ace Hardware and Caldwell. They got every single screw size. So I went there, got all brand new ones, so they're crispy and not rusty. And you basically just have these nuts and screw on top to keep it to keep it tied down right. And uh, so that's the first one. There's also holes in the side here. And you open up the top, and then you could um, adhere them so they're so they're uh, nice and secure on the sides as well. I'm not gonna tighten these too tight because this is, like I said, this is not gonna be in service technically. And I don't wanna crack the plastic because it's very delicate, but that's how you adhere them from the back. Then I'm gonna do a, you know, as I connect each one, I'll screw them in, make sure they're secure on the sides and just continue and go go on to the, to the rest of the piece. Like I said, this one's the longer version. The shorter version would cut off about here. So half of the, uh, the vending machine uh, dispenser would uh, hang off to the side, which I always thought was really weird. So I'm kind of glad that I got this uh, this tannish case that was meant for the other piece. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, secure the rest of them and I'll show you when I'm done. Well, that was a fucking bitch. There was candy like stuck in the screw holes, <laughs> melted candy. I had to clean out all the insides of these. So this came out great. Um, I could see why they used the other bracket instead of this one. As you can see, there's some slight separation between like two of them, but it's not that big of a deal to me. I do have the other uh, mounting plate, if I the, the brown one, if I really wanted to do it. But uh, I think it looks fine. Once the cover goes on, it'll be it'll be straight. Um, so yeah, that's the, the top piece all mounted in, screwed in the side and everything. And then now I'm gonna um, put just those printout inserts there and then throw the cover on and we're done, baby. And here it is all put together. This thing is a beauty. I can't wait to put this in my toy room on display. Wow. Imagine being in the 80s and just walking up to one of these to get a fresh gumball. Oh, that looks fantastic. So as you can see, I just printed out some like sticker advertisements because they're vertical. Um, the candy ones don't really have uh, vertical artwork. So I just grabbed them on like some candy vending machine website. 
cut them out. They're about like almost seven by four. And this way they wrap around the sides a little bit so you can't really see through the back. I just picked a couple of mad ball ones because I like them and some temporary tattoos. Just to fill it because like I said, I'm not going to use it for candy. So uh, there it is. It came out wonderful. I can't believe I finally have this after all these years. Uh, now I can show you guys. Thanks for uh, for tuning in as always. Just another uh, another gemstone for the collection, baby.